You guys have been really loving this new series of video, guys. So I went over to Instagram and asked you guys what you want to see in my Funko Pop collection. And I believe this is going to be volume three. This is fun because you get to see some cool parts of my collection that you wouldn't normally get to see unless you specifically ask. So let's go ahead and go to request number one. Rush Mullenstar77 asked to see some Space Jam Pops. I love Space Jam growing up, guys, and I do have some of the pops in my collection. Let me show them to you. So all the Space Jam pops that I own, guys, are actually up here, so uh, let me grab them. All right, here's all the Space Jam pops that I have. I believe these are all the ones that are out currently. I'll, I'll explain here in a second. But if we start on the bottom, guys, we got Marvin the Martian, which is an awesome one. That's, you know, him in the referee outfit with the whistle in his mouth. We got the blue Monstar, which is pretty cool as well. One of the bigger, like, three-inch normal Funko Pops that you'll see in, like, a normal Funko Pop box. You got Bugs Bunny rocking the Toon Squad jersey. You got regular Taz, Chase Taz, Grin in his teeth and also swag hammer. So referring to what I said earlier, guys, they actually do have some NFT pops that will be coming, I believe, later this year with a bunch more like Looney Tunes guys from like the Toon Squad and a couple of other like Monstar related stuff. So those should be cool once those come in hand. My buddy Dale Woodward, he wants to see 2015 Funko Pop collection. Okay, pops from 2015. I could do that. So as far as pops go from 2015, guys, this is what I found. And just to prove that these are from 2015, that I'm not just making this up, guys, you'll read right there, right after the FM, it says 15, that means 2015. Yes, this is a random selection of pop guys, but I do love these ones. They are in my collection. I think they're great. We have this one right here, guys. We got Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Awesome pop, guys. They recently came out with some other pose, but I gotta say, this might be my favorite. Got good old Tina Belcher right here, guys, from Bob's Burgers. You got the Iron Giant with Car, which is great, too. Coming down here, guys, you have some pops from Peanuts, which is Charlie Brown. Definitely a solid one for sure. I do love me the Sesame Street pops, and Oscar the Grouch is a great one. Also have Pedro right here from Napoleon Dynamite. And, um, yeah, that was six random pops that I chose from the year 2015. Mr. Woo for you five wants to see all of my pop rides. All right, give me a second. It might take a second to get them all together. Okay, so I guess one of the pop rides that I can show you guys is a part of the $50 Funko Pop Collection Challenge. If you haven't watched that series, I definitely recommend doing so. But I got Freddy's ride right here. This one's actually limited to 2,000 pieces from uh, New York Comic Con. And then the ones that I actually wanted to put together right here, guys, we have a couple of different ones. First off, we have Ezra in the buggy from Haunted Mansion. That's a great one for sure. I love me the Haunted Mansion pops and the fact that they made, you know, him in the buggy vehicle. That's a great pop ride. Moving on over to here, guys, we got Marvin the Martian, which is a solid one too. This one's actually limited to 3000 pieces. And uh, Marvin is in his little rocket ship right there. Right above him, guys, probably one of my favorite ones. We've got Woody driving. RC. He even has the little uh, RC remote in his hand. Gotta say the detail on this pop ride is spot on for sure. The Pizza Planet truck. I mean, come on. It's got a mini Buzz Lightyear in there. That's a great one too. And then the Splash Mountain ride is an awesome one as well. And I gotta say RIP to Splash Mountain. It's sad that the, you know, the ride's not here anymore, but I've got the ride right here to, uh, to remember it by. Gerlean Saudi, I think that's how you say your name. Hopefully I said that right. Wants to see Bob's Burgers. Okay, I believe I almost have every single Bob's Burgers pop. Let me round them up. So I believe all of my Bob's Burgers pop should be right here. I got the whole family up top, guys. Actually, I just realized that I mixed some of them up, but we're gonna start off with Linda right here. You got Tina, Jean, Bob, and Louise. You got Burger Suit Jean, which is great. Teddy, which is, you know, the neighbor that is always visiting Bob's Burgers for sure. You got Butt Loose Tina, Beef Squatch, and then I also have a Bikini Burger Linda. This one's from the Bob's Burgers movie. Which actually, speaking of Bob's Burgers pops, I'll actually have these three right here guys available in my next whatnot auction so if you guys are interested in that definitely check out the link down below so you can bookmark that show and then i also have some other items that i'll be selling in there guys three of the original shrek pops as well so if you haven't signed up for whatnot use the code down below you can get 15 dollars off your first purchase and uh yeah anyways guys those bob's burgers pops are going to be a part of that auction michael.zito.dbz48 been waiting for you to show everyone how you display your pops okay i've got a couple of different ways that i display stuff i can take you around the office real quick. So how I display my pops, I would say is pretty darn simple. I can break it down into some of my favorite shelves. So right up here, guys, you will see some of these shelves right here. I think these are from Ikea. I can't remember what they specifically are called, but I'll definitely put up a picture of them right here. So these are the longer ones that'll fit more pops. I put two of them together 
and then uh, screwed them into the wall. These right here, guys, that you see behind me in most of my videos, these are display ball airs from Vaulted Vinyl. And I gotta say, this is a great way to uh, display or flex, if you will, your uh, favorite Funko Pop grails on the wall. Shorter version of that shelf, guys, right here in the corner that I was talking about from Ikea. And then I have some bookshelves behind me, guys. These house some of my favorite pops. These are the Walmart mainstay shelves. I can't remember specifically what the size is, but uh, I'll find it for you guys. But anyways, it holds a ton of different pops as you can see, and it displays really well. I love actually the fact that they have a little middle display and I kind of take advantage of that and use it for random kind of out of box pops. I'm not sure, but it holds it holds a ton of pops. I definitely recommend the shelf and price wise, it's pretty solid. But yeah, I got another one of the Ikea shelves right here. And for the $50 collection pops guys right here for that challenge, more Ikea shelves. Aiden's World One wants to see three of my favorite convention figures. Okay, I, I think I could do that. You know, I'm sure I'm missing some pretty great convention exclusive pops, but I gotta say, these ones kind of stuck out to me as some of my favorites. So we're talking the Fairly Odd Parents three pack, which came out at San Diego Comic Con last year. Guys, I grew up with the Fairly Odd Parents, and this set of pops right here, super nostalgic. I love that show. This one I didn't actually get in person, guys, but I purchased later on. I ended up getting Cookie Monster from uh, New York Comic Con. I wanna say i can't remember the year specifically i'm gonna say i'm gonna go out on a limb and say this was 2015 but if i slide over here to the left guys this one's a great one too poochie from the simpsons this one came out for c2e2 this year and uh you know i think this is what convention exclusives are all about kind of those random fun characters that you wouldn't normally think of for a funko pop poochie is definitely one of those but uh i'd say three of my favorites right here would definitely be these guys hey kids always recycle to the extreme! Busted! Bomar, just Bomar, wants to see pops that have a cool story. All right, this might be a tough one. So I found a couple of different pops that I feel like would be kind of cool that have a pretty interesting story to them. This first one, guys, is a part of the $50 Funko Pop Collection Challenge. This one's a LeBron James, and the way I found it was actually pretty awesome. So you guys know that I visit a store called Entertain Mart a lot in my videos, and they actually had this one in their display case, and it was a really good deal because this usually goes for, I think, like around $100 to $150. They had it for only 40 bucks. So to find a pretty valuable pop for a, I would say a fraction of the price at $40. That is a pretty interesting story for sure. And then this one guys that I want to show off right here, guys, I ended up getting this Snoop Dogg pop and it has a fun story behind it as well. So I ended up getting this one guys at the dog house when they opened up that Funko pop-up store that they had for, I believe 2023. And the cool part about it guys, I was able to actually meet Snoop Dogg. I took a picture with him and everything, talked to him for maybe like 10 seconds. It was super duper quick, but it's cool that I have this pop to kind of go along with that moment with that memory where I got it from meeting the legend himself was absolutely epic super duper fun and I'll never forget it especially because I have this pop too and obviously the picture too Chris V 2395 wants to see ad icons let me take you over to the shelf that I display most of them at least so majority of the ad icons guys that I collect now that glare is super bad are the uh, cereal ad icon pops. But I definitely like these ones a lot guys with Count Chocula right here, Boo Berry, Tony the Tiger, Trix Rabbit, Lucky the Leprechaun, Toucan Sam, Sunny the Cuckoo, Yummy Mummy, Frankenberry, Fruit Brood, I mean, come on. I even actually have some of the uh, cereal monster rides that are a part of the ad icons. This is actually Funko Dorbs, so these aren't technically pops, but still ad icons. And I mean, I could go on and on with all the pops that are behind here. All of these are gonna be cereal characters like Sugar Bear, Tony the Tiger Jr., Coco the Monkey, Captain Crunch is a good one, and Quisp, but that gives you a good, you know, at least a little peek at my ad icon collection, mostly cereal guys. Never Ask 742 says the saddest pops in terms Interpret that as you will. Okay, I'll give it some thought. So I mean, for me, and as far as sad pops goes, I mean, I brought in these, these are definitely, you know, they they look sad. I would say Ennui from Inside Out 2's got a, got a little bit of a frowny face right there. And Anxiety looks definitely a little bit worried. And you know, she, she has a frown too, I would say. But the one up top, you guys are probably wondering, Woody from Toy Story, that doesn't make any sense. But if I remember correctly, there's a line from the first Toy Story movie that Buzz says to Woody, well, I'll just play it for you guys and it would make more sense. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Farewell. 
So according to Buzz, Woody is a sad and strange little man. I don't know, guys. That's that's how I interpreted that. Nerd Nation United, more gaming Funko like Bendy and Destiny or Borderlands. I definitely do have a solid video game collection. I'll go and grab a couple of them. And finally, a majority of my gaming pops are actually housed right here in this shelf. A lot of what I played as a kid was like PlayStation classic games, I would say. There are a couple of different ones mixed in here. Like I did play a little bit of Twisted Metal, which was a fun one. This one was a little bit later on, but Sackboy from Little Big Planet, I love that game. Ratchet and Clank, all time classic, guys. I got two pops from God of War. That game is super epic, I love that one. Spyro, Sly Cooper, a couple pops from Sonic. I played plenty of Sonic. Oh, and I guess I can't forget about Nathan Drake, guys, that's out of box over there. I love the game Uncharted. So I guess I could show off a little bit more, but you get a good flavor of, you know, the video game pops that I have, or at least the ones that I enjoy the most. And folks, just like that, that is gonna do it for this edition of random things that you wanna see in my Funko Pop collection. If you enjoyed it, guys, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below, you know, what other things you like to see in my collection next. I'll probably do this video series every other week. We'll have to see. Also, if you enjoyed the video, guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another. Always promote positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.